Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we had a great question on one of our other videos. Somebody said they got a, a team section with the people module like we've got here, and they wanted to be able to pop up a video of each person. Now there's several ways you can do this. I think the easiest way is using this fantastic plugin called Divi Supreme Modules Pro, which we're using today. And you can find the link below the video if you're interested in looking at that. But if I click on this, it's going to pop up a video. Obviously, I've not got a video of this chat, but I've put some of my own in there. Same with the next one. It'll pop up a different video. And same with the next one here. Now, you could actually do this with elegant themes code and actually use a bit of JavaScript to do this but this is a lot easier so I thought I'd demonstrate it for you so like I say I'm using Divi Supreme Pro for this today once you've got it installed go down to your dashboard you'll find it right there it is by far my favorite Divi plugin purely because of some of these extensions you can enable pop-ups which is what we're doing today. Library short codes, read more content. They're all great. But what you need to make sure is go to Divi Supreme Pro under general settings. Make sure that you have enable Divi pop-up set to on. So it's in the right hand side there and it'll be purple in color. Once you've done that, hit your save changes. Now let's go back to our page and I'll do this from scratch. I'm going to enable the visual builder. And let's go down. I'll delete this whole row and we'll start from scratch. Okay, well, I'm going to add a new row. I'm going to put three columns in mine. Obviously, adjust yours to how you need it. I'm going to use a person module. Put your name in here, obviously, where it says name. Position there. If you want to put a Facebook profile, Twitter profile, just put your link in there. No point putting a Google Plus profile in, that doesn't exist anymore. And as you can see, as I'm doing this, they're appearing down the bottom there. Put what you want to say about each person down here. I don't want to say too much. Let's get rid of some of that. And in the image down below, obviously, you can put an image of your member of staff. Great, well let's just make it into a bit more of a card so you can tell it's lifted off the page a bit. I'm going to go down to my background, give it a little background colour there. So I think I used a light grey before. That's fine. We go over to our design now. This is where you can design things. The icon are your social medias there. I'm going to make those blue. You can actually make them bigger or smaller by using the icon font size. I'm going to leave mine just as they are. Image, I'm going to leave it as it is. If you've got a square image, you can make it nice and rounded by giving it a high value there. Mine are actually oblong, so if I was to give it corners, it would sort of curve it out. I'm not going to put a border on there. Let's roll on down to our text just down below. I'm going to pop everything in the middle. And you can do your title and subtitle text separately if you want to. Let's make that title perhaps blue, uppercase and semi bold. There we go. And for position, I'll make that bold and that same color blue. That works for me. I'm going to give it a little bit of space all around just so it's more like a card. So I'm going to go down to my spacing. In the padding, I'm going to give it 20 pixels put in the 20 it'll put in the picks hit the chain it'll do the opposite side and we'll do the same for left and right great well there's our first card all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just duplicate this a couple of times I don't want to go through building it again so just click on it hit the two little squares I'll duplicate it once move one of them over it doesn't matter which one they're both identical go in and we'll just switch out that image And uh, I guess we better change the name. And we'll do similar and one more and we're good to go. 
two little squares, drag one across. We'll go in there. Yeah, we'll swap out that image. I guess that's a fella, so <laughs> I better give him a, a guy's name. Okay. So we've got three little person modules there, and they said they wanted to actually click on them and pop up a video. Now remember, what we did initially, went down to Divi Supreme Pro, enable Divi pop-up. If you don't do this, this next step's not gonna work. So make sure you've got Pro installed and you've enabled the pop-up there. We'll go back to the page. Let's go into our first one here. I'm gonna go over to the advanced. I'm gonna go down to visibility here. If we scroll down a little bit, you've got a little button there that says use pop-up. Now that will not be there if you haven't done this part. So make sure you do that. I'm gonna flip it on. What do I want to pop up? Gives you some fantastic options here. You can pop up pretty much anything from anything. I want to actually pop up a video. So I'm going to select video. As you can see, you can do a layout, an iframe or an image. Now I've selected video. It's given us a video URL underneath. So I'm just going to copy one of my YouTube videos or well, video URL of one of my YouTube videos and pop it in there. You can choose to trigger it on module click. If you've got a button on your module, you can trigger it on the button click. You can trigger it on an image, hyperlink by ID, CSS class, well, that's a CSS ID there by the way. You can trigger it on page load, which is great for GDPR policies and things like that. Trigger it on scroll or trigger it on exit intent. Exit intent is when people go up to close their browser window. And we'll be doing a few of those in the future. So I'm happy for it to trigger anywhere they click on the module here. Close trigger, if they click outside the pop-up, it'll close. I'm happy with that. There's plenty of other options. You can have a close button if you want to. I'm not gonna use auto close. If you put that to on, you can select the time frame. It'll automatically close after whatever time you put in. They've got some Plenty of entrance and exit animations. I'm going to leave mine just on the regular. They can bounce in and fade in and all kinds of things. Wants to be absolute. That means it's going to stay exactly where it is. If they scroll up and down the site, the video is still going to be in the middle there. So I'm going to leave mine on absolute. Not going to use full width. Pop up max width. The default's fine for me. If you want to change it on tablet and mobile, you can just select the little mobile phone type icon and make it bigger or smaller on the tablet and mobile. That actually works for me on all devices. And you can choose to show an overlay and you've got a background color for your overlay. Now you can show a close button and decide whether to have it inside or outside the little light box that pops up. And you can choose your font size and icon to use here. The standard is an X, that's pretty standard for closing things. I'm gonna leave mine just like that. And of course you've got a close button background color and a close button icon color. I'm going to make mine white because I've got a kind of a dark background going on there. Great. Well, let's just save that. And I'm going to go into the next one. I'm just going to add a video URL to this one too. Advanced visibility. Use pop up. Pop up video. Let's grab another URL. Pop it in there. I'm going to leave all the other settings exactly as they are. I'm going to pop into our last one here and do exactly the same. Over to advanced, down to visibility. Use pop up. I want to pop up a video. And let's grab another URL. And we should be good to go. I'm going to save my page changes, little purple button and exit the visual builder. Once enabled, I'm going to go down. If I hover over, you see you've got a little hand icon indicating that you can click on it. If I click on it, it's going to pop up that video. You can hit the play button. And there we are. There's our little close icon. I'm going to hit that. And we can do the same for our next one. And it will also 
disappear anywhere you click outside and it should work for our third one over here same deal so there you go guys there's how to pop up a video or pretty much anything you want from anything you want using the fantastic Divi Supreme Pro you can find the link below this video if you want to check it out so I hope that's answered your question like I say you can probably do it with the elegant themes pop-up code or lightbox code that they've got but this is a much easier option for you so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day.